New tonight, a Defenders exclusive investigating a fight over health care in North Carolina. The clock ticking for hundreds of thousands of state workers, including local teachers for Blue Cross, Blue Shield and state hospitals to make a deal. Otherwise, over 700,000 people could pay out of pocket for health care costs. Tonight, only the Defenders Savannah Levins is sitting down with state treasurer to talk about the new health care program. She joins us live with what he had to say. Savannah. The state treasurer, Mr. Fowell, says he's implementing this new plan to save money and put an end to shady closed door deals. But he's fighting hospitals who say they could stand to lose millions of dollars under this new plan. Meanwhile, about 720,000 North, Carolin North Carolinians are hanging in the balance, their health on the line. So this is what teachers and troopers and other state employees have been paying for health care. Actually, nobody knows. These are all redactions. Uh, completely redacted. North Carolina Treasurer Dale Fowle says his new health care plan for state employees is meant to lock in lower health care costs and do away with hospitals' closed curtain negotiations and secret contracts. It's a cartel. They don't want to do away with secret contracts. A handful of hospitals like Caramount and Gastonia have agreed to the new plan, but other major players like Atrium and Novant have refused to this point, saying it could cost them millions, which might negatively impact their quality of care. So the hospitals that are saying, we literally can't afford this, are they lying? They're not being truthful. One hospital in this area has five billion dollars in the bank. This Monday is the deadline for hospitals to make their final decision. Meanwhile, many state employees, including teachers like Michael Landers, we risk being out of network and we risk and fear for our lives, are worried that this could mean their go-to providers will no longer be covered. My deductible for my family will go up to just close to $30,000. $30,000 is bankruptcy for most teachers. The North Carolina Healthcare Association, with the support of many state employees like Landers, is pushing for the passage of House Bill 184, which would effectively step in to pause Fowles' plan and force further discussion on the issue. It's already passed the House and is currently being debated in the Senate. House Bill 184 basically stops us from reforming the state health plan. It makes sure that we have secret contracts and higher calls for the next five years. Meanwhile, that Monday deadline is looming, and Powell says he's not budging, even if major hospitals don't either. You can believe that this is truly, genuinely the best thing to do, the best thing for the state, the best thing for the public purse. But if hospitals don't sign on, and there are thousands of people who have to drive two hours to get care that's in their network, what do you say to those folks? We're fully committed to having a network where that is not going to be necessary. How are we going to make that happen in a few days? Stay tuned. So I did reach out to both Atrium and Novant. Atrium got back to me. They said they're still reviewing the contract and told me, quote, and I want to read this word for word, they're seeking a, quote, reasonable and cost-conscious solution that benefits all residents of North Carolina. We'll keep you updated again. That deadline is this Monday. Reporting live in the newsroom, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte. All right, Savannah, thank you.